Uh, I remember uh, in uh, when I arrived here, that I started my internship at Morisena City Hospital. Uh, during that time, as I indicated before, uh, we had difficulties understanding patients, and very often, very often, uh, we were humiliated by the other physicians, American physicians, uh, telling you dumbs, or telling you because you couldn't follow the direction, you couldn't communicate with them, uh, and uh, sometimes it was very difficult to relate to them, and uh, you felt bad about it. As a matter of fact, I remember that uh, about three weeks after I came here, I just wanted to get back. I wanted to say, no, 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 I cannot take this. I'm already a physician. I should be treated nicely by the other uh, American doctors that uh, they were looking at you. I was very young and uh, could not follow the instruction very well. So sometimes you felt very bad about it. However, uh, I, I said to myself, no, no, I'm going to make it. I had the determination, I had the, uh, the uh, desire uh, to go ahead with what my father told me to uh, get educated. And uh, so I, I, I did, so I stayed and little by little I improved and uh, then uh, everything was okay. But what I'm saying is, especially for the immigrant, that you must work hard. You must be consistent. You have to establish some kind of a goal and say to yourself, I'm going to go there. And even if you fall, stand up and continue. Because this city, especially New York, is the best city in the world. They give you all of the opportunity you need. They give you the possibility to be educated, the possibility to have your own place, your own house, uh, to have your car. The American dream is there for you to get it. But it's up to you to get it. So what I'm saying is, yes, we can make it. And uh, uh, for all of the immigrant students that are listening to me, yes, we're going to go ahead. Yes, we can make it. But do work hard. Study and become and get educated. This is the key to be successful. As an immigrant, I can tell you that uh, here in New York, uh, we have a large community of Dominicans. Uh, we have close to maybe a million Dominicans. And uh, we are one of the younger uh, uh, community in the city of New York, uh, but also one of the hardworking, determined uh, community. And I do feel very proud to be a Dominican. And I, I believe that many of my uh, uh, friends, all professional Dominican, will be also feel proud to be a Dominican. It's a, an excellent community. Uh, we are moving forward. When you think back on your mother's cooking, what are the real, what's, what do you remember in your all? I miss oh, that yes, so much. Yes, yes. Tell us, tell us. Rice and beans. I would call a com com, which is the part of the rice that uh, stick to the uh, boil and uh, you put some uh, beans there. Oh, uh, uh, you know, I'm always saying that sometimes you give me rice and bean and platano and you put lobster someplace, I will pick my rice and bean. I've been eating that all my life, and my mother used to oh, cook that with, uh, with a sense that uh, I still feel it. Can you get that now, or is it gone? Uh, it's difficult, uh, but uh, uh, something similar, a little bit, you know, and uh, I still like to uh, eat uh, Dominican food, you know, rice and beans.